Hello. My onions are here. Alright, so today let's take a look at no, nope, not that. The New York Jets. We'll say early two thousands. Still haven't kind of figured that out. I kinda of have it narrowed down, but uh I don't know, was this their home? Was a home green? So if we'll go home. Um retail authentic. Uh football jersey uh, by Reebok. Everything is stitched on. Alright, so let's take a walk up and let's take a look see. Okay. Alright, so this is made in El Salvador. These are the hang tags. Now, like I said, I think this is between 2002 and 2005. Mainly because that's when he played with them. When Reebok was the jersey. And I'm thinking maybe it's kind of toward the 2005 because this doesn't say Curtis Martin on it. Which means it probably was sent to the customizer. Back then, Reebok would uh, give you a blank jersey. Uh huh. Jets. And there's the sleeve. So back to the. They would send it to a customizer, and they would be able to blank and would be able to customize it. I forget about this tagging right here. I have a thing that shows me the tagging in the years. So that's why I say 2002 through 5 right now. Um, also the El Salvador part over here. Uh, I know they made them in El Salvador, all the kinds. The premiere and the replicas, but um, I'm not sure. Ping, do you know? No? Ping doesn't know. Alright. So, this was a Curtis Martin one. He's a local kid with the Alderdice and Pitt. So, it's a little bit easier for me to have this and find this, even though he played for the Jets. Like, I'm surprised we don't see more Daryl Rivas jerseys around here in Pittsburgh. Being that he was from Aliquippa, I think I could play corner. Okay, so let me step back so you can at least see what this looks like. It's a size 60, which is, geez, like a 5XL. So it's a big jersey and doesn't fit properly on the hangers that I have. So it just kind of looks weird hanging here because there's much more material than normal. Just all right. So there you have it. Oh well, you know what? Hold on. Let's add to this video. Okay, next up, we'll go with the Premier jersey. Now this is a little bit different. This is a 1968 throwback Premier jersey, made by Reebok. Hey. Okay. So, this is probably around the uh, end of the 2000s. For their vintage collection. Let's see if there's any hang tags. Polyester. Everything is stitched on here. This is stitched. Single layer twill stitched. Now, since it's a premier jersey, the armbands right here and down here and the Reebok right here, they're silk screened. That's what made it a premier. It's a cross between the authentic and the replica. 
And this is a 1968 version. So you're getting a 1968 version right now of the New York Jets. And you're getting two Hall of Famers too. Okay, I'm going to flip it real quick. There's Joe Namath. Number 12. Once again, silk screen. The numbers are stitched on. The name bar, single layer 12, stitched on. Alright, let me take a step back so you can see this. There's the Joe Namath one. See if I can walk backwards without killing myself. Here's the front of it, the 1968 Jets jersey. What's missing here? There's a couple things missing here. Hmm. You know what? Let's throw in a Santana Moss replica, which means it's all silk screened football jersey. Now, what Santana played, what, 2001 to 2004, so my guess with this jersey, since he played 2004, would be 2004. Hang tags. So I can tuck them away. Made of polyester and nylon, 80-20. Made in Korea. This is a two extra large. Emblem, once again, silk screened. Everything on it, silk screened. All numbers, logos. These, oh, right here, these are not silk screened. Neither material. Here's the tagging. So, if this tag is looks like this, and it's probably a 2004. So that's kind of narrowing down this one over here because that's probably close to 2004. Then. All right. So, once again, number silk screened on to the jersey. This. NFL equipment patch uh, is stitched on. Right there. That's stitched. And the jock tag down here. Right there. That's stitched. Alright, Ping, how you doing? You like how I threw this together real quick? Didn't realize I had it all nearby. Santana Moss. Went to the Redskins after this. So, I think get a step back. There's the back of the Santana Moss. Ping's still stunned that I put up a threesome of jets. And they happen to be authentic, premier, and replica by Reebok. So, there you have it. The main difference is quality. The authentic one is all stitched on. It's thicker when it comes down to it. So it's a better quality. That's why it costs more. The Premier, this one, stitched on. You still got all the stitching. So not as heavy. Not as much of a quality when it comes to Reebok. It has a combination of the authentic and the replica, which is all silk screened over here, the white one, the away one. So this one is a combo. That's why it's in the middle, and that's why it costs in the middle back in the day for Reebok. So if you come across these nowadays, because Reebok isn't the supplier, now you know the difference. Now, this isn't to say that this isn't going to be a counterfeit, 
but that's a whole different story. This one isn't. Um, so, there you have it. A variety of Reebok retail New York Giants home in a way. Different years. Well, really, the Curtis Martin and the Santana Moss are probably from the same time frame. So, uh, the Joe Namath is from 1968 throwback. So, once again, you can almost call that an alternate jersey then. But there you have it. New York Jets retail authentic, premier, and replica football jerseys. All by Reebok. Thank you.